So are you thinking about moving to Sexy, Texas? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna cover in this video. We're actually gonna do what we always do. We're gonna take you around, show you three different homes in three different price points in the four, five, and $600,000 range. So you can see uh, if that's your budget, what you can get here in Saxe for that price range. Also, we're right here at one of the major city centers. This is the thing is most people believe that these smaller country towns or uh, towns that are less traveled to have nothing there and you've got to drive 30 minutes to get anywhere. That's not the case. So we'll show you that. And uh, again, we're going to take you around, show you those different homes. Then we'll drive you through those neighborhoods so you can see the neighborhoods for yourself as well. And we're going to get after it right now. Hey, if this is your first time to the channel and you want to know everything there is about living in Dallas, Texas and the surrounding areas like Saxe, then subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to learn about the current market in Dallas. My name is Levi. You know my partner Travis and I, we get calls and emails every single day from people just like you and you and you and you looking to make their move to Dallas. We absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, just give us a call, shoot us a text or send us an email. Happy to help you make a smooth move to Dallas. So as I mentioned, we are here in Saxe. It's a smaller country town in the northeast corner of Dallas. It's right next to, and we have actually have videos uh, on these other areas like Wiley, like Lucas, like Parker, uh, like Fairview. This whole area, this northeast corner, to me is a hidden gem. Nobody ever asks us about moving to this area, although we have helped several, several families move out to this area. But the thing is, is that People are always concerned about these small country towns that are just on the outskirts of Dallas, you know, if, if there's anything to do. But you can see here, just like in this, you got everything you need for your everyday needs. So you've got Kroger right here, you've got Starbucks, you've got AutoZone, you've got UPS store, you've got Hibachi uh, Grill over here. I don't know, you've got Sonic, you've got, I mean, there's the Hallmark store even, even the Hallmark. Only a small town like this would have the Hallmark store still available, right? Uh, I mean, there's just a lot, you know, so if you need to grocery shop, get your coffee, get your gas, all that's going to be right down the road. You can do that here. Now, if you want to do your fancy pants shopping and everything like that, then you've got Dallas, you've got Plano, you've got Frisco right down the road. Uh, even Fairview, Fairview's got a, a Whole Foods um, and then you're super close to Lake Levon, Lake Ray Hubbard. I mean, Saxe is a great area. It's growing really you're going to see in this video we're going to take you some pretty sizable homes for pretty affordable prices that's the thing is you can get much larger homes in this area but again you can see even right behind me you got everything you need to get you through every single day life and then of course if you want to spend the weekend in dallas or frisco or plano or even the historic downtown area of mckinney is not too far from here as well or hit up the lakes then really saxe is a great spot for you uh, I mean, it, it, it's hard to beat and prices are extremely affordable on here. So let's do what we always do. Let's go check out some homes, drive those neighborhoods and then uh, enjoy the rest of this video. And uh, let's go, let's, let's, uh, well, let's just get after it. All right, so we're at our first stop here in Saxe. And as you can see, this is a really nice neighborhood. Uh, you know, you can see nice wide streets and everyone has a nicely manicured lawn going in here. And these are some pretty sizable houses, especially for the price range that we're in. And that's definitely the case with the, uh, the home we're coming up on right now. Now this home is listed right at uh, $425,000 and it is actually, I'm sorry, $495,000. And then it is actually a five bedroom, three and a half bath. It's just over 3,200 square feet and it is uh, was built in 2014 so that's pretty much going to be the case for a lot of these homes in this neighborhood all built within that that time frame of 2014 2015 and you can also tell again by if you look at the trees the size of the trees then you know that this is a uh, newer established neighborhood but for that size of home in this price range is really absolutely uh, incredible here and you can see uh, all the other homes around here too really nice and so that's just something that uh, comes with whenever you get on the outskirts of Dallas a little bit then you know you you tend to get a definitely a lot more house for the price and so that's the good that's why people love to come out here and Saxe is just a uh, kind of what you could uh, consider a small country town and very simple for uh, you know simple life you know but at the same time you're not that far from 
everything you need in Dallas as well. Plus the schools are pretty good out here and you're close to the lakes. You know, you got Lake Ray Hubbard, Lake Levon, just right around the corner. And so that really uh, makes uh, it easy access to get to the lake life, you know, over here in Dallas. And of course, that's a good thing. I mean, right now we're in the low 90s finally. I mean, to most of us Texans here, low 90s is, is perfect weather. Uh, the humidity has broken for the, for the year. And that's the great thing. You know, if you get through July and August in, here in Dallas, the rest of the year is usually very, very nice. Now, January, February, those are a little uh, touchy sometimes, but just depends. Sometimes it's they're, they're really nice, but then February gets a little weird sometimes. That's usually where we have uh, a cold snap or something like that. You saw probably this last year with the, the ice storm, <laughs> the 100 year the hundred year ice storm. So just some things to keep in mind. But other than that, you know, for this price range, uh, it's really uh, a good buy. You're gonna really get a lot of home. And to be in the $400,000 range around here, uh, great opportunity. So let's cruise around this neighborhood so you can get an idea of the other homes in the area and then let's go check out the next spot. All right, so we're at our next stop here in Saxe. And again, you can kind of see the same situation. These homes uh, and the home we're coming up on was built in 2014. And again, you can kind of, you can always look at the trees. The trees are always an indicator of usually how well established that neighborhood is. Uh, just because uh, it, normally it, in, in these new communities, the developer will come in and typically level everything first. So if there were trees here in the first place, it's they rarely ever save those. They just replant the new ones. But ultimately, we're coming up on this uh, home right now, which is listed at $565,000. It's a four bedroom, three bath. It's right at 3,582 square feet. So that's going to put the price per square foot right around $158. And again, if you're coming from California, New York, Chicago, Washington State, you probably know that that's pretty low on a price per square foot, especially if you want a 3,500 square foot home. I mean, that's the case, you know, here in uh, Saxe, you get on these outskirt towns of, of uh, the suburbs just on the outside of Dallas, especially this northeast quarter. Corridor. I've mentioned this in some of our other videos. If you check out, we've got a full vlog tour on Lucas, Parker, Wiley, uh, Fairview, all these areas over here, uh, Parker, <laughs> Parker as well, this whole northeast corridor of Dallas to me is completely untapped. Nobody ever comes into town and asks for these particular areas, but there's a lot of value over here and it's just unknown. Everybody always wants to be in Frisco and McKinney and Allen, but I tell you what, this northeast corridor over here, especially you know close to Lake Levon, uh, kind of north of Lake Ray Hubbard as well, to me is a hidden gem. It's a sweet spot out here, you know, um, and it's definitely got every town has a kind of a small country vibe to it as well. But a lot of development is moving out here too. So if you buy now, there's a likelihood that your home is going to increase in value, not just from the fact that I believe this whole uh, area is underdeveloped, and I mean underdeveloped from the fact that it hasn't been completely taken over like most of the other areas, but for the fact that 
uh, you know, everything's going to be moving this way as well. You know, Frisco's busting at the seams. That's why Prosper and Salina, uh, which, by the way, we've got videos on Prosper and Salina, too. Uh, you know, everything is growing north and everything's growing northeast. But it just doesn't have a lot of notoriety right now. These areas like Saxe, like Wiley, uh, you know, like Parker, like Lucas, like Fairview. And if you want some land as well or a much larger lot size, you're going to have more opportunity to find it here in this area, too. So just something to keep in mind. You're still a hop, skip, and a jump away from Dallas. You're close to Frisco anyway, so everything you need is not that far. I mean, there's plenty of things to do here to get you through your everyday life. They've got all the grocery shopping, dining, things you need. But if you want to do, um, you know, the fancy pants stuff, then you'll go to Frisco or Plano or Dallas. And that's that's the kind of the cool part. Or if you just want to hop over to the lake, then these are the best communities because you're so close to the lake. And of course, we love our lake life here in the Dallas area. So with that, you know, you can see here again, same same uh, scenario, wide streets, well manicured lawns, huge homes. I mean, 3,500 square feet for 565. That's really nice. So with that, let's go cruise around this neighborhood so you can see it for yourself. And then we'll make one more stop. All right, let's go. So we're here at our last stop in Saxe. And I tell you what, this home coming up right here, it's a nice corner lot. It is massive. And especially for the price, I would say, is right at, oh, by the way, say hi to Alex. <laughs> uh, we're actually working on a few new projects. Alex is joining our team. Uh, don't worry, I'm still gonna be doing these selfie style videos. However, we're gonna be uh, producing quite a bit coming up here in the future, so we're super excited about that. But Alex is coming on board with us and we are going to uh, bring some things to you here in the future that I think uh, you'll really, really enjoy. So right now, don't mind Alex. He's just, pretend he's not there. We're, we'll get back to the houses right now, but this home right now is $620,000. It is a four beds, a four baths. It's just over 3,600 square feet. It was built in 2016. It's going to put the price per square foot right around $172. So as you saw, the two homes earlier were right around $158, $160 square foot. This one's 172. It's a little bit newer. Uh, a little bit bigger and I would say you know the outside really nice design I like that stone and brick combination and of course all the other homes over here it looks like we've got some people moving in over here as well and so uh, again neighborhood uh, again established in 2016 you can again tell by the trees like look all the way down see how how tall the trees are so they're not that mature uh, need some time to grow and develop but again, all these homes uh, built within the same range of around uh, 2016 timeframe. So that's really good for the value of this neighborhood. And again, things are gonna be moving out here and growing more and more in the Saxe area. So, uh, but you can see all the neighbors around here, it looks like uh, everyone takes care of their yards, which is the good thing, right? Cause you, you wanna be sitting in your house and looking out, you wanna see uh, neighbors with nice clean yards, no broken down cars, all that good stuff, right? And this comes up quite a bit. So people always mention, why would I spend that much? Why would I spend 620 on a home with no garage? Well, here in Texas, most of the time, they're rear entry garages. There's actually alleyways in the back of all these, which is really nice because, you know, to me, I like it because it keeps the streets a lot cleaner. Uh, you know, you don't see everybody's cars parked out in their driveway out front, parked on the road. People have these rear entry garages, so they go behind the houses. They're paved alleyways, they're really nice. 
and you know and so that's it, it keeps the street very nice and clean uh, which to me is just a better aesthetic for the overall neighborhood and especially if you go to sell your home that's you want somebody to drive into the neighborhood and feel nice and safe and clean you don't want to see a bunch of broken down cars uh, everyone's parked out on the front you know it just depends it depends on the neighborhood i'm not saying front entry garages are, are a terrible thing uh, they're still there's still that case in even eight nine hundred thousand dollar neighborhoods sometimes they have front entry just to me in my personal opinion i think it's just a better aesthetic overall to, when they're in the back but again to each their own so that really wraps up um, everything that you need to know about Saxy here again like we always do we're gonna take you around drive you around this neighborhood so you can check it out but again whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days you know feel free to give us a call shoot us a text or send us an email happy to help you make a smooth move to Dallas and until next time well we hope to see you around town <laughs>